What's up YouTube, Danny Bizzle here and welcome back to the second part of my tutorial. Um, today we are going to show you how to create a deck um, using the resources in the game and uh, how to save that deck and then locate the deck after. But first of all, um, like in the last video I showed you this Final Fantasy CCG uh, table. Today I'm going to show you this one. This this one's actually better for creating the decks. For some reason I can't get the deck, uh, the cards to duplicate on this. So let's use this one for creating the deck. So I'm just going to let this load quickly. Uh, as you can see, it's like a bigger table. It's got the rules either side for everyone to look at, and this is the uh, mat that you get with the starter decks anyway. Um, I prefer the other one simply because it's more condensed. Uh, it's got the smaller field and also the hands on this one are located to the right hand side so let's say I draw here see my hands here but I prefer playing so I see the field and I cannot see my hand unless I keep moving over this side so yeah it's a bit frustrating but um, personally I would say use the other one I know it's like left handed and all but this one makes sense to me Right, so we do have the starter decks to the side and then the uh, opus set. Uh, obviously these starter decks have other cards, so the S cards, um, which opus 1 doesn't have. But first of all, I will recommend just selecting all of these and flipping them. Uh, it will make sense in a sec. So what happens is if I say keep this flipped and then I want to use some cards from this I'll put them onto the field and they'll come face down so it just uh, gets rid of that nuisance thing at the beginning um, yeah so let me sort this out and flip so the easiest way that I found to create decks uh, I know it's a bit, a bit annoying but do right click search and then all your cards should come up here. So what I'd say is from here you just find the cards that you want in your deck. So for instance, let's say we want three Zacks. You just drag that one and then put it onto the field. Um, what you do here, you just right click copy and then right click paste. And then we have two versions of him. And if you want another one, just go again. So we have a playset. Um, it's simple enough, so let's say, I don't know, we want some chocobo chicks. So I'm just going to just gonna do it, I'm not going to do a whole deck, but yeah. Uh, and then let's say we constructed a deck, so you just close that, you put all the cards into one pile. If you say, oh, I've got loads of cards all over the place like this, when you're sorting it out, literally just left click, highlight them all, right click, group and then they shall group all together as you can see here this is the deck um, from here you highlight the whole deck so uh, and then we do save to chest and then all you do is just name it and then it saves to a certain folder and save uh, that's that so that's that will be the deck saved uh, if you want to locate the deck after uh, I did have a little bit of trouble finding this at first but all you need to do is go to host and then you go to chest and then you go saved objects in this okay now once you get this is my wind water deck so I literally I just grab that drag it onto there and boom there we go and that will be my deck so I shuffle that and say we draw a couple of cards flip them over and it's uh, not too bad of a start in hand anyway and extra two cards but yeah um, that's pretty simple um, like I say I hope this helps it's quite difficult to get your head around at first but once you start doing it it's quite good it does I, f I wish that you could search the cards uh, like I say like if I search this if I want to search I don't know hope it doesn't come up for some reason. I think you have to put in tags and stuff for the cards, which will just take forever. Hopefully, the creator of this mod uh, does that. 
but like I say I prefer using this it's just a more closer setup the hand is right here uh, everything's there in the way um, also you can't just drag and throw the, throw the cards on the side because they just end up there so if you don't want this in the way when you're playing all you need to do is delete it don't worry they will always come back uh, every time and then obviously you only want to use your deck So yeah, I prefer this table, I think it's just a lot easier to use. I'll also, if you're playing multiplayer, uh, always make sure to promote your uh, promote your player, uh, the, the, your opponent, um, simply because otherwise they won't be able to get their deck onto the field. If you promote them, uh, they will be able to insert the deck. So, shuffle this, let me see what, so, um, yeah, so basically this start off with the basic so if you start the game you just right click and draw obviously draw five cards um, that's quite a bad opening hand in my opinion uh, especially early game anyway uh, the area is quite nice but yeah let's not talk about that your opponent can't see these cards uh, you can't see the cards in the hand but for some reason at first I didn't realize that say you can't read this effect you can if you grab it and I don't know, say you go uh, if you press the middle mouse click it zooms in and then press it again and it go back to the board but if you do that and I can't see that unless I grab it but as soon as you grab it your opponent can see the card so there is a button which you can press which is alt or alt and then you can just go over the card highlight over the card which is very helpful and your opponent doesn't see this so that's pretty good um, what else can I say okay so say we're going to play the backup here we're going to discard pain for archer um, there's no way of rotating at 180 degrees to dull you do have to rotate using this or you can just highlight over or put the mouse over and then push Q to go left or E to go right there is a way obviously later on in the game say we play we have Aerith here as well and Yark um, obviously sometimes you use two to dole you can just select them uh, select them both or select them all you see this yellow outline and then you can move them all at the same time which does obviously work better later on during the games uh, especially uh, activating them at the start of your turn um, I think that's all I need to say um, everything else I think is sorted so yeah if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can uh, if you want to see anything else just let me know also uh, but I hope these are helpful anyway um, yeah so that's it Danny Bizzle I'm out take care guys bye bye